Breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space, with the first contact made in the nation's country. Our reporter Jamie is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Jamie? As you can see, there is panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens for our town and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet, unless we give them what they want. The risk of the harm to the public is very real and... Jamie, are you there, Jamie? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre explosive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Stand by as Romeo. What's happening there? Really tense in here, and what I, and what I can say is these aliens smell really terrible, like a mixture of sewage water and rotten eggs. Oh, looks like one of the aliens want to speak, want to sp wants to speak to us through a translation device. People of Earth, listen carefully. We are the superior beings of planet Ogabuga, of the gal uh, from the galaxy of 207. We demand these following things. We want chicken. We want all your ice cream. We want all your toys. And lastly, we want all your animals so we can use them for our own good. We can make foods like burgers and bacon and we can ride them all over the places to catch you guys and kill you. And we've raided your local butchery, but we couldn't find any animals there, even though it had this bright sign showing animals. So give us these things, give us the animals, or else we maybe won't kill you. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag OMGAliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement, so we cross now to parliamentary reporter Charlotte. So unaware what's happening. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up, be afraid. Here comes the Prime Minister to address the nation. Tēnā koutou katoa, people of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister asking to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these alien creatures feel welcome. We must display all qualities that, this, that define us as New Zealanders. We'll be holding a poor fairy later today, then, then I'll join the alien leaders on on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these alien creatures will move on to Australia and spare us all. If you come in contact with one of these creatures, we recommend that you hold your breath, smile and quickly run away. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. That is all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now, where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you hear me there? What should we all do? Well, I think the first thing we should do is try and talk to them. I've been studying aliens for years and they hate violence. Maybe they're just learning. Obviously, that's completely foolish. Because what we should do is make an invisible potion for everyone. As you drink the invisible potion, you immediately turn invisible. So now the aliens have... And how now... Now the aliens have... I think you have disappeared. So now they'll leave planet Earth. You two dim-witted idiots are both wrong. What we should do is to cover everything in salt. The aliens don't like salt and they won't bother to abduct you if they have to get covered in salt in the process. Whatever. How will you even get all the salt? From salt mines of course. Where else? Or you can just drink the potion if not the health. That will never work. It will work. How will we get the potions ready? From science labs all over the world. Well, so much for the opinions of experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Holly. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there's an outrage as aliens try to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antenna for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become an alien transit lounge where they are relaxing in preparation for killing us all. 
Meanwhile, Confusion in Canterbury, where aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's cow community. And in Dunedin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to hide in my basement. Back to you, Holly and Ben. Finally, we interview someone who claims they have had a close encounter with the creatures from outer space. Our reporter Daniel is with that person now. I'm here with Kashfi, who claims she has been abducted by aliens. Um, crap. How has this experience affected you? From what I've seen, it isn't that they aren't that bad. They're really nice if you don't say or do anything to them. So, what do you plan that we do to? to how has this experience affected you? It hasn't really affected me at all. It was kind of like a vacation. Finally, at Kashfi, as a person with experience with extraterrestrials, what do you plan we should be doing? Just be nice to them and they'll be nice to you. Thank you for your time back to the studio. Thanks, Daniel. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick or the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. If there is one.